Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to print out a number in binary format in C, C++. So if you're interested, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio. Let's create a new project by clicking on File, New Project. Make sure you have 132 selected from this list and then select 132 console application let's call it print binary click ok on this page just click finish okay let's see how we can print out an integer as a binary format we're going to create a function let's call it integer to binary we're going to give it the integer we want to print out and a character buffer that will contain the result first thing we always do is check for null pointers if null is p then we can't do anything it should return from this function Okay, so let's do a do while loop here. Do while our number is greater than zero. If the remainder of dividing the number by two and modulus two is zero, we should say contents of p equals zero in this case. Else it's one, so we can say contents of p equals one. And then we can say p plus plus, then n equals n divided by two. So now at the very end, we should say contents of p equals the null termination character. This is all assuming that the buffer we have is sufficient enough to get the result. Okay, so let's give this a try. Let's say here in main, let's assume we have a char b of 100. That's a big enough buffer. We don't need that many bytes, but just to be safe. For integer, i equals zero, i is less than, let's say 256 plus plus i. Let's print all the numbers from zero to 255. I'm gonna say now, integer to binary, i, give it b, that should give us the value. Now we can print it out, print f person d equals person s i and then. So let's run this, let's compile and run. I'm going to hit Control f5 on the keyboard, click yes. So as you can see here, the numbers are actually converting fine. The only thing is that if you look at this number here, it's actually in reverse order. To verify, I can launch my calculator here, say 253. As you can see here, my number is actually reversed. So one more step we need is to reverse the numbers that we create. So let's go here, include string.h, and then let's keep this pointer in another variable so we can point to the beginning of the string. And then here, at the very end, we're going to say str rev bstr. So this will reverse our strings. Okay, so Ctrl F5 again to compile and run. So now, as you can see here, the numbers are actually now showing up correctly. So that's how we convert an integer to a binary in C, C++. There are many other ways to do it, but this is just one example of doing it. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.